Hey guys, welcome to Shruti Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to capture real world terrains and input it into your Unreal Engine project. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you find the video helpful, please press the like button to help me out and let's get started. So I'm going to use this TNM download application, uh, which is the, uh, the URL I will provide in the description is a viewer dot national map dot gov slash basic all right this is the URL. you go there you see this map so the first thing you want to choose is elevation products all right 3d ep click on that and this will get expanded um there are many subcategories um one meter dm has the highest resolution and also it captures the smallest very small area uh, so it gives you high uh, resolution you can use multiple of them and put them together you click on the check mark one by three arc second dm and click on show availability right it will highlight the area that available for you to capture so what i'm going to do i'm going to zoom in to that area like this amount right and then i'm going to click on find products all right so it's going to look for the products so after that, what are you going to do? Click on um, show thumbnails. All right, there you go. So now you zoom out and see it created like a couple of thumbnails, right? Uh, I can use this also. I can select another part of the area and do the same thing. I can go to return to search and click on find products again. I'm going to repeat the same thing. Show thumbnails is going to uh, give me the thumbnails for more areas. There you go. There you go. Right there, right? See, it's Anford North 40 West 120. All right. This is the one, right? See? and 40 West 120. So what are you going to do? Oh, there's one more thing you have to do. So if you go back to return to make sure, I I recommend to use image, right? So click on uh, IMG check mark, uh, file format as IMG. You can also use our grid, but I use image. So I'm going to do it again. Go to find products and then n40 120 so what i'm going to do i'm going to download this it's a big files by the way and i'm going to find this one n39 120 n39 120 this is the one okay so i'm going to download this one as well so i'm downloading two thumbnails um, these are going to so i'm going to create height maps out of them so i have downloaded these two zip files these are compressed these are pretty big uh let me see these are about a um, little more than 300 megabytes. So I have this to download it. There's another application that you need um, is this. So if you go to, I will provide the URL in the description. If you go to github.com, uh, Marco Polo slash real hyphen terrain. So it will take you to this page. Uh, you're going to go ahead and click on clone or download. And then you're going to click on download zip, right? It will download the application and it's going to go probably in your downloads folder or wherever you keep the keep them. Uh, so you can just right click and unzip it. All right, so unzip to here, right? All right, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to do is you're going to unzip the, um, uh, the image compress file as well so I'm going to extract them one by one there you go so I have them so I'm going to um, copy this the disk image file 444 um, and go to uh, real terrain master go to input folder and paste it here I'm going to do the same thing for the other ones. This one. Copy this. Disk image file format. And go to um, input. Paste it here. So I have the N39 West 120, North 40 West 120, both of them, right? Go ahead, open your uh, CMD, command line prompt. You can use, also, you can use git bash or whatever you want to do. So I'm going to do CD. Go here. And it's going to take me there, right? So, real terrain master. And then I'm going to go find the instruction. 
so for that you need to have the python install right python something you can just google and install so you can go to um, download python and download one make sure you can access it via your uh, command prompt or terminal all right if i do python and i have access to the command line right all right so let's go back to github um and we're going to use this comment so this is the comment what i'm going to do is so pretty much this is what you have to use right so we're going to do python real terrain.py and then the 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 file name the file name you can get uh, one of them if you go to the input for input folder of your real terrain uh, I'm going to use the the first one just press F2 and then copy the file name and right click and paste it and then if you press enter um, What happened? Oh, okay. Yeah, my my fault So you have to also include the extension img dot img So it's python real terrain dot py which is the python script and then the name of the image file press enter um, It's not going to take too long. So it's going to pretty much convert it so other one is I'm going to take the file name, copy the file name, and then once it's ready, all right. So I'm going to press up, and it's going to come up, and just change this to 29, right? It's the, everything stays the same, and then press enter. There you go. All right. So once it's done, you can go back to your real train master uh, folder, and you'll see the output folder. Okay, you have the input, and you have the output. The output is what uh, spits out the um, the process height map so you have this is the file and this is the file so this is the file we'll be importing in unreal engine so let's go to unreal engine i'm going to uh, create a new flying project so that we can fly over the terrain um, and you can name whatever you want i'm going to go ahead and create the project all right so we create the project let me play this and see how this looks like all right there you go we're going to go to uh levels if you don't have it you can just go here windows and just open this and you put it whatever you want you will see persistent level right so so if you go to the window setting wall settings if you go to windows wall settings if you're missing that and then you have to click on the enable world composition right this you have to check that and check that and go back to levels after you check that you will see this window um, and then we're going to go to wall one and now we're going to click on levels and then we're going to go uh, create new i'm going to do level one and save l1 will show up on the persistent level all right so what do you do on click right click on l1 and do load and do make this current landscape and do import the output folder of real terrain this one first and after you import then make sure you click on the feed to data right if you click on feed to data uh, it will fit into the data and you don't have to change anything and you can change keep the scale 100 by 100 and 100 i'm going to lower it to 50 the z-axis then i'm going to go ahead and import and it will show up so what i'm going to you can just um, right click and move things on this is the map i'm going to put it on top right and then i'm going to import the second one uh, i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to do Click here, create new, and I'm going to do L2. Uh, then I'm going to make this, load this, and make this current. And then I'm going to hide the L1, the first one. And I go to uh, landscape. Do the same thing pretty much. Input the second one. This one. And do the same thing. Fit to data. Reduce the width, uh, Z axis should be reduced to 50 and then import. So there you go, we have two of them together and then we can just log their location, just total the level visibility and then you can close this. Uh, if I zoom out, I increase this camera speed to 8. Now if I play, I can play on this flyer of this. There you go. Um,
Nice. This gives you real life terrain and a look and feel of it, right? Uh, you can paint over it, grass, uh, different materials, apply different materials, different trees, those kind of stuff. So this gives you a nice structure. It's a very realistic based on the real. You can capture, I guess, like this part of the, this part uh, was the water part. Uh, or you know you can do whatever you want uh, you can play around with the uh, z-axis so that you get you know this mountains are pretty low you can play around the z-axis to get uh, better uh, mountains if you have any questions put, put them in the uh, comment section especially if you have questions about how to install python and those kind of stuff uh, it should be straightforward uh, as long as you can access python from your comment prompt or uh, terminal don't forget to press the like button uh, to help me out it'll the more like i get uh, the more this video gets uh, shared among other people um, so until next time goodbye